This is probably one of the most heavily debated topics for students entering medical school. Some students are completely against the idea of pre-studying and will recommend doing anything but this with your free time and that is extremely reasonable. And other students enjoy using their free time pre-studying and it's worked well for them and this is also completely reasonable. At the end of the day, the degree to which you pre-study depends on your personality and whatever you find works for you. But in this video, I'm gonna discuss some things that you may wanna consider when you are deciding whether pre-studying before medical school is something you should or should not do. What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith and I'm a medical student at the Mayo Clinic. Now, just to start things off, I have to say I did not pre-study before starting medical school and there were a couple reasons why. For one, I was still working as a research assistant at the time and also a high school basketball and track and field coach, so I did not have much free time. Two, I had absolutely no idea how to study. I didn't have the greatest study habits in college, so I had absolutely no idea how I would even approach pre-studying for medical school. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out that first video in this series where I talk about learning how you learn before starting medical school. I'll make sure I leave a link to that video in the description. And the third reason I didn't study before medical school was that I didn't actually know what to study. There are so many things you're going to learn in your first year of medical school, whether it's organ systems like neurology or basic science courses like biochemistry and immunology. Now, if you do wanna pre-study, I think that there's gonna be one topic that would be best, but more on this in a bit. But as you can see, I didn't pre-study at all, and I don't think that I was behind whatsoever so if you're like me and are busy you have jobs you have hobbies you just don't feel like studying do not feel bad about it there's actually a benefit to holding off on studying until medical school starts when your classes start you're gonna be learning about specific things as well as specific ways to think about those things based on what your professors want you to know so if you spend your time learning the wrong things or the wrong way to think about things then you may not only be wasting your time but once medical school starts it may be even more challenging for you to adjust your understanding of certain topics there's a benefit to coming to medical school with a blank slate because you don't have to reframe your thinking about anything everyone is gonna have their own experience in things based on what you majored in, what you've done research in, what you may have a master's in, and those experiences will definitely help you in related courses, but don't expect to get that level of experience from pre-studying a few months out because that's just not gonna happen. And you also have to know yourself. If just thinking about pre-studying makes you anxious, then you probably shouldn't pre-study. There are so many things you can do with your free time before medical school starts, and the last thing you want is to start medical school already feeling overwhelmed because you forced yourself to pre-study. Now, for those who do wanna pre-study, again, completely fine, but I do think there's a specific way to go about it, starting with a specific course, if any, that I think you should focus your attention on when you're pre-studying, and that is anatomy. I've said it in many videos before, but anatomy is one of the most time consuming and challenging courses that you will experience in your first year of medical school. But there's also another reason why I think that this topic should be the one that you focus your attention on before starting medical school if you do choose to pre-study. In every other subject, the field is constantly changing, so you just have a higher likelihood of either studying the wrong thing or just not thinking about something in the right way but that's not the case with anatomy. And I actually reached out to a second year medical student when I was coming into medical school, asking his thoughts about it. And he said it perfect. The first day of med school was the hardest day of med school. We had nine lectures. I had no idea what any of the words meant in any of them because we started with anatomy, like just about at med school. And they were talking about all the muscles, all the nerves and how, they, how they're innervated. And I remember my dad, because as I was sitting here doing absolutely nothing in Aurora for the summer, my dad was like, why don't you just like, watch some videos on on how the anatomy works in in the back or in the heart or something like that it can't hurt right it's not going to change and i'm like no dad that's that'd be a waste of time like i'll learn it from teachers right now i just want to relax and some med students will still tell you to do that my biggest piece of advice is look anatomy has not changed in 100 years it, and that's going to be your first class take the time to relax like seriously do travel have fun see your friends go out but like two hours a day from eight to 10 in the morning, nine to 11, yeah. whatever it is for you. If you could just memorize a few muscle groups or a few nerves or a few arteries or veins, it will pay dividends. Right. That's my biggest advice because I, I was drinking from the fire hose for the first month. So if you do choose to pre-study, I recommend focusing your attention on anatomy and you can even start to develop the certain study strategies and start to figure out what resources you wanna use like what we talked about in the previous video so that you can really figure out what works for you. You can download Anki and then download an anatomy deck. I'll leave a link in the description below to the deck that I used and then you can just start to kind of play around with the tool and figure out what works for you or if you should explore other study strategies. You can start checking out resources that are geared specifically to helping medical students with anatomy like Ken Hub, who 
are kindly sponsoring this video. KinHub is one of the best resources for learning anatomy, so if I was considering getting a general understanding of anatomy before medical school, I would work through specific topics and begin unlocking corresponding Anki cards essentially as a practice run at learning relevant material in an efficient and effective way. You could click through and watch their videos on the spine in the back, for example, and then go to Anki and unlock cards on the spine in the back. Because ultimately, you're not only getting a foundational understanding of anatomy, but you're really just practicing how you're going to approach learning in medical school, which I think is the most productive thing you can do at this point. If you want to spend some of your free time pre-studying, great. But if you don't, cool, because I didn't. This is not something that is going to make or break your medical school education. But if you do choose to, do it with a focus on the actual mechanism of studying. Using resources like KinHub and Anki or any other study strategies that you want to experiment with before medical school starts. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. But more importantly, I hope you're enjoying your time before medical school starts because it's about to get busy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna love it, I promise, but it's gonna be busy. So if you do choose to pre-study, don't do it all day because you're gonna have you're gonna do that a lot in medical school. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The channel is continuing to grow and I feel so honored to be able to just have this community. So thank you guys. Look forward to the next one. But of course, keep evolving and I'll see you guys then.